Hello and welcome. Thank you very much for having us. My name is Fabian. I'm a co-founder and COO of Keyless. We are a deep tech cybersecurity company pioneering privacy preserving biometrics. And today I'd like to talk about how next generation privacy preserving biometric authentication can help you and your customers on a journey to zero trust, passwordless and seamless digital experiences. Because let's face it, we all hate passwords and we've seen stats like these before and felt the cost. Plus in Europe, we have a whole host of regulation and compliance to adhere to from the GDPR to the strong customer authentication requirements under PSD2 and our open banking directive. This all means we have to continuously work toward higher levels of security and privacy while making sure we maintain the trust and loyalty of our customers. And when it comes to customers, there's been much research into what they want, expect and prioritize in applications or services. However, while a customer is willing to sacrifice some user experience in order to maintain security, there is a growing expectation that providers can't ignore user experience and in fact need to do more in that area. For example, Business Insider reported that more than 60% of European customers abandoned digital banking solutions in 2020 because of poor user experience. But what are some of the drivers? If you look at our personal lives over the last 12 plus months of the pandemic, where we not only work remotely, um, but we also shop remotely, uh, we pay online digitally, uh, so we bank online, uh, we work out online, and that remote everything work uh, is something that uh, really puts user experience uh, at front and center in how we live our digital lives. Um, and that also increases the, the requirements for consumers when it comes to engaging in remote or online services. So we have high expectations on the experience that we uh, experience, but also um, the level of trust in those solutions. So security and privacy uh, is very important. And it looks like passwordless is the future and actually a future that is not too far ahead. Gartner predicts that by 2022, so next year, more than 60% of large enterprises and even more so, about 90% of the mid-size segment uh, enterprises will implement passwordless authentication methods in some way or form. But passwordless authentication isn't the only major trend that we see in enterprise security. And, and Gartner's Emerging Technologies and Trend Impact Radar for Security in October last year, passwordless authentication is displayed as one of the main trends, uh, which is high impact and immediate in front of us. And FIDO is playing a huge part in that. In addition to that, zero trust networking, so identity-based security is something that we all hear and read about, but something that puts identity and thus authentication front and center. Authentication of the device that we're using, the application that we are authenticating into, but also, and most importantly, the user who is authenticating. So putting the right user in context uh, of what application is accessed from which device. And more so in the future, one trend that we are very excited about is that concept of decentralized identity, of personal identity management, as we call it. It puts users in control of their own identity information lets them selectively disclose the identity data in a more private and secure way. But when we look at the evolution of authentication and where we've come from and where we had it, we are all familiar and live in that world of passwords um, for more than 60 years now, uh, added layers of security like hard tokens or soft tokens that we all know from the enterprise context or the way we uh, make payments, for example, to biometrics as we know them today, predominantly from our smartphones um, such as Apple's Touch or Face ID systems or equivalent solutions like Samsung Touch in the Android context to a future uh, that we at Keyless um, see private and passwordless uh, that we call zero knowledge biometrics, which aren't the end of this evolution. In fact, we're seeing the future um, in a way that we own and selectively uh, con that we own and control and are able to selectively disclose our identity information in that context of decentralized identity that puts us as users in control of uh, who we are uh, and what we share. And authentication is playing a major role in that. And we are all familiar with those three distinct elements for authentication as 
who we are and um, what we have or what we own uh, and uh, the credentials, the passwords, we know that we all want to get rid of for great reasons. Um, and the way that we see uh, as the optimal solution is that we make ourselves the key or the password uh, in that scenario and allow users to authenticate uh, in a secure and private manner from any device um, uh, without yeah, compromising on the security and privacy of that authentication process and the data that is involved in such. And we call this paradigm zero knowledge biometrics that isn't just passwordless, uh, but also private and as something much more than a compliance tick mark in a procurement function of a large enterprise, but a true value proposition as part of the solution that allows us to strongly authenticate and identify the individual rather than the possession of the device and not to mention the credentials uh, such as passwords. And the solution is built on three main building blocks. It verifies the device as a factor of possession through a zero knowledge proof that makes that device a trusted factor. It transforms users biometric information when looking into the camera using uh, advanced cryptography and machine learning on the device uh, and irreversi irreversibly encrypts that data. Um, so it's fully anonymous and can never ever be decrypted or reconstructed again. And then a decentralized or distributed architecture and secure um, distributed private computation using a secure multi-party computation scheme that allows for that fully anonymous and private biometric matching in the encrypted domain. But the result of this process isn't just a binary yes or no and um, what we deem as a valid result of a biometric authentication process, but in fact, the generation of a cryptographic key or a private key that can be used to perform a one-time operation, such as generating a token and logging into an enterprise uh, identity and access management system and a connected app to authorize payments in a PSD2 compliant way, to sign documents or to perform verifiable claims about one's identity, after which that secret disappears again. So with keyless, there is no sensitive information stored on the user's device, no biometric data, but also no secret key material. But on the other side, and very importantly, there is no sensitive data stored in a central repository that could be hacked, attacked, or data could leak from. But with a simple look in the front-facing camera, of any device, we perform true multi-factor authentication, whereby we verify the device as a factor of possession, completely independent of the device itself, the hardware manufacturer or the operating system, the face as a physical biometric factor, whereby we also ensure the liveness of the user, so you couldn't use a video or a picture. And we are very proud to be FIDO certified in the biometric domain as one of seven vendors worldwide, which you can see on the website, and in addition to the face recognition capabilities we offer, we are working on behavioral characteristics. So the way you interact with your device, such as hand movements, gestures, or swipes on the screen as an added layer of security that is transparently in the background. And we offer this across two major lines of solutions as passwordless authentication across the enterprise for workers, staff, contractors, partners, suppliers, when it comes to accessing workstations, connecting to applications or logging in from a remote location. And on the consumer side, as a white label SDK that businesses can embed in their consumer facing apps to strongly authenticate and identify their end users in a convenient way. And all this in a true omni-channel experience from digital onboarding over strong authentication uh, and signature use cases um, that run across any device with a seamless and consistent experience and the authentication happens in a fraction of a second. One example I'd like to bring from uh, the education context and a customer we're working with in Europe, Louis University, where we are by now authenticating way more than 10,000 students uh, for remote education services. So virtual exams, uh, classrooms, uh, et cetera, where um, we offer a solution that allows users or students to use their uh, own devices completely independent of which device that they're using so without requiring any hardware investments uh, for the school in a consistent experience that not only authenticates the device the um, student is using but also identifying the person when authenticating in a way that is frictionless and easy to use and doesn't introduce any burden from a compliance perspective 
in the education context, we're working with global telcos, both in the US and Europe around um, a 5G enabled use case, leveraging the multi-edge compute infrastructure that is being built in London uh, and the East Coast in the US to make these experience even faster uh, and instant. Um, to conclude, uh, we are a company uh, that's providing deep tech and, and cybersecurity solutions in the context of passwordless authentication for both the workforce and the consumer. We partner with um, companies in the ecosystem and, and FIDO uh, themselves. Uh, we offer this um, for employees uh, and for consumers and I very much look forward to being in touch uh, and to explore how we could help you on your journey to passwordless and zero trust. With that, I thank you very much and wish you a wonderful event ahead. Thank you.